So in this video, we'll be comparing the speed of four of the most popular 4K streaming devices. Which one do you think will come out on top? Leave a comment now. Okay, so those four devices in question are the Apple TV 4K. This is £179 or $179. We'll also be looking at the Nvidia Shield. This is 188 in the UK, 189 in the US. We'll then look at the Fire TV Cube, which is the newer version, the second generation in the US or the only generation in the UK, and also the good old trusty Fire Stick. We will be marking different categories out of five, so stick around to the end because you'll see which one wins. Now the first test is how quickly these start up. So with a boot time of each device. Now I've started them all at the same point, And as you can see, we've got the clock in the middle. Now, interestingly, the Fire TV is almost identically at the same time is the first to show any action, followed by the Nvidia Shield. Looks like more action coming with the Fire TVs. However, Apple just kicked into life then at around 18 seconds and Apple has almost loaded not quite, so is the Fire Cube. Well, there you go. Apple loads first, followed by the Fire TV Cube. Now it's a race between the Fire Stick 4K, which started really well, but now it's just slowed right down, it seems. Nvidia Shield just seems to be lagging. Starting to do something now, though, but is it going to load? Third was the Fire Stick, and we're still waiting for the Nvidia Shield to load properly. There you go, at 52 seconds. So what's your thoughts about that? First was the Apple TV, second the Fire TV Cube, third the Fire Stick, interestingly, and fourth the Nvidia Shield. Okay, let's look at this next. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at how quickly we can start YouTube with the devices. We're gonna go with the last Three, place two, Nvidia Shield one, first. Now. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're going past three, four, five, six, seven, not too bad, 7.51 seconds to load YouTube from the home screen. Let's now go to the Fire Stick, YouTube which was third three, last two, time. One, now. And again, you would probably expect this to be slower than 7.5, and it is. There you go, 9.93, so still under 10 seconds. The next was the Fire Cube three, TV. Two, Let's see how well one, that does. Now. And again, you probably would expect this to be in between the two or a little bit faster than the Fire Stick, but it doesn't appear that it's going to be. In fact, it's significantly slower, almost two seconds slower. And finally, let's go with the first place before the Apple TV 4K. Wow, 4.36 seconds. That is over three seconds quicker than the fastest of the other three. That is seriously impressive. So in summary, the Apple TV absolutely smashed that, followed by the Nvidia Shield. Surprisingly, the Fire Stick 4K was third, and the last place went to the Fire TV Cube. Now let's try a couple of other popular applications. So Netflix, for instance. Now, I've got two different profiles, so we're going to do this in two sections. Firstly, loading to profile screen, which is here. There you go, 1.72. And secondly, loading to the main Netflix interface. There you go, 0.48, so that is super quick. Now let's have a look at the Fire Stick 4K. Three, two, one, now. Definitely slower, a lot slower. Massively slower, in fact. Just coming in now, there you go, 10.06. And to turn that into the main home screen, another 4.23 seconds, so that is significant. Now the Fire TV Cube. Wow, 0.71 of a second, that is very quick. Now to the main screen, only another 0.43 seconds, so just over a second that was, absolutely incredible. Apple TV now. 3.58 seconds, thought it'd be quicker than that. So now to the actual home screen. Again, I thought it'd be quicker, another four seconds. So that's around seven seconds. So in summary there, we have the Fire TV Cube smashing it at 1.14 seconds, the Nvidia Shield at 2.2, and then the other two really quite disappointing. Apple TV 7.7, .7, and the Fire Stick was 14 seconds. Now let's have a look at how quickly we can start Prime. Three, two, one, now you would expect the Fire devices to be the quickest. Nvidia Shield comes in at 
6.48 seconds, that's pretty slow. Let's try the fire stick now. This should be very quick. Yeah, that's pretty good, 1.51 seconds, but can the fire cube beat that? Let's try it now. Three, two, one, now. Wow, no it can't, 1.98 seconds. Okay, can the Apple TV redeem itself in these tests? Let's give it a go. My word, this is slow. This is incredibly slow. Wow. 10.10 seconds. So as we predicted at the start, the Fire devices smashed it, but surprisingly the Fire Stick was again faster than the Fire TV Cube. The Nvidia Shield came in third and the Apple TV was disappointing. When it came to voice search, well, Apple TV and all of them did pretty well. There was one exception with Apple TV and that was searching YouTube. No matter what I asked it to do, it just couldn't locate my channel, it couldn't even open up YouTube, and so therefore if you wanted to voice search YouTube, in the future that's something which you won't be able to do or certainly I couldn't do it with this Apple TV 4k where Apple TV is brilliant though is that when it searches for generic material so for instance like a movie it will search various different sources not just its own so therefore you'll then get options that you can purchase from multiple different apps and so therefore if it's cheaper on Prime Video for instance then you'll get the option to be able to do that because it uses its Apple TV interface and even when when you go to Netflix and you want to watch, for instance, Stranger Things, it will open it up in its Apple TV interface and then load it through Netflix from there. So it doesn't actually use the standard Netflix interface. Now in these tests I've been a little bit disappointed it has to be said with the Nvidia Shield. It is likely to get a new refresh and an update very soon so we're hoping that that will improve. It did great with searching YouTube but it really struggled when I wanted to buy The Greatest Showman. It wasn't able to locate that for me anywhere. It literally just brought up clips as you can see. It did do a good job when I wanted to watch Stranger Things through Netflix. I could ask for that and it did that brilliantly but it was overall a little bit disappointing. Opening Netflix. Now the two devices which I was most impressed with were the Fire Stick 4K and the Fire TV Cube. For voice control, they just didn't let me down at all. I was very easily able to search through YouTube for my videos and I was able to locate and purchase if I wanted to, The Greatest Showman. Now, one of the things to bear in mind with both of these devices is that these have obviously got Alexa built in and so therefore if you've got, for instance, an Echo Dot, then you can control apps like Netflix all just via your voice you don't even need to use the controller and this comes on to the fire cube tv or the fire tv cube that is a brilliant voice control device on its own check out my video where i did a review on it because i was really impressed with how you controlled the voice so with the fire cube you don't even need to actually ask it to do anything other than play what you want it to do. You don't need the controller in your hand at all. You can just say the A word and then say, can you play? So the integration with Netflix is excellent and also you can control third party like Watch cable TV or satellite TV in the UK. For me, I tested it with Sky Q and again, it works brilliantly. You can ask me to play your fine videos. So my friends, in those tests, without a doubt, the Fire TV Cube came out on top, followed by the Fire Stick, then the Apple TV, and disappointingly, the NVIDIA Shield. So what does that mean to the collective and final scores for these tests? Well, the Apple TV, that managed to win two events, the boot time and also the YouTube test. The NVIDIA Shield, that's going to come last. That was very disappointing. It didn't win any. In fact, it only got two second places. The Amazon Fire Cube, again, it won two events. It came second in two, and there was just one disappointing event. And the surprising factor was the fact that the Amazon Fire Stick came first in one and also came second in one. So overall, guys, these are the scores. In top place is the Amazon Fire TV Cube. Second place goes to the Apple TV, narrowly third to the Fire Stick, and then the Nvidia Shield. So a big congratulations to the Amazon Fire Cube TV or the Fire TV Cube. Definitely great value for money at £109, $119. Special mention to this little guy, the Fire Stick, surprisingly good. 
Now, I still am a great fan of the Apple TV. I know I get haters for loving Apple products, but it does so many things that I absolutely love, so I'm still going to keep it. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching this video, as always, my friends, and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next.